So, you're officially a student of Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Congratulations! As you've probably noticed, the HWS campus is located in the beautiful Finger Lakes region. It's probably a big reason why you came here, and now it's a part of your responsibility to help keep it that way. The next few minutes will explain how HWS is committed to sustainability, and how we need you, yes you, to help. Question: Have you ever considered where the food you eat or the goods you buy comes from? Or where they go when you throw them away? Geneva is located within 10 miles of the two largest landfills in New York State, so we take it personally when people throw stuff away. Something as simple as buying local produce will reduce environmental impact, create more local jobs, and help improve Geneva and the Finger Lakes. Wow, that was easy. So, what else? Well, we can reduce waste by not creating it in the first place, choose reusable items instead of disposables, and recycle or compost what we do leave behind. Unlike the barbaric practice of sorting paper, plastic, cans, and glass, things are now pretty simple. Blue bins are zero sort recycling. If you recycle it, you can toss it in. Pizza boxes, last week's term paper, the blue bin is your friend. Green bins are for compost. Food, napkins, to-go containers from the cafe. We compost over 200,000 pounds of waste every year. So don't be shy, everyone's doing it. Red bins are for anything that can't be recycled or composted. Just remember, this all goes straight to the landfill. And that makes President Gearin's dog, Dublin, very, very sad. What's that, a segue? HWS purchases 100% of its energy from wind power. Pretty cool. Still, heat and electricity cost millions of dollars each year and account for more than two thirds of Hobart and William Smith's greenhouse emissions. We can do better. Pop quiz. The US Department of Energy estimates 75% of energy used by household electronics is consumed A, by TVs, B, charging iPhones, C, during holidays, or D, while turned off? The answer is D. Even when turned off, your electronics are still using energy. So the next time you leave, make sure you turn off that power strip, not just the lights. HWS is a proud supporter of regular showers and the washing of clothes. Trust me, your classmates will appreciate the gesture. That said, HWS campus used over $500,000 worth of water last year alone. That's a lot of H2O. Shorter showers, fuller washing machines, and turning off the faucet can help reduce the amount of water we use and make HWS a more sustainable campus. I'll drink to that. Walking around campus, you'll notice that, hey, you're walking. From Scanling Center, you can walk almost anywhere in 10 minutes. And in most cases, it's faster than driving. When foot power just won't cut it, you can always run a sweet set of wheels through the Yellow Bike program. Zip cars can also be running from campus safety for those longer hauls, gas and insurance included. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about reducing your impact and helping HWS become a more sustainable campus. HWS has set a goal of climate neutrality by 2025. And with your help, we know we can make that possible.